All right, so Zapier's new natural language actions uh, combined with Langchain is pretty impressive. So I made a tool for myself and I figured I'll showcase it for everybody here as well. So I made a little repo called AI Agents. This is publicly available. And um, it basically combines Zapier's natural language actions with OpenAI's LLMs uh, and using Langchain as the glue to bind it all together and make you a personal assistant that not only you can talk to, but it actually performs actions for you, such as sending emails, checking your Slack and all kinds of things. So uh, if you go to the uh, little web app that I made, uh, if you put in your OpenAI uh, key and your Zapier key, uh, it shows you a list of tasks that you've given access to and you know everybody can uh, manage their own actions from their Zapier account. So these are the things that I have given access to. And let's give it a try. I have a prompt already written to save time. Uh, so basically I'm asking the AI to check the latest email from Yara. And uh, if there's a request for a meeting, create a draft response, accepting the meeting, and then send a message to Slack to tell everyone about the meeting. So uh, it's being run, uh, basically sending the tasks to the API. Um, and in the meantime, this is the email that uh, hopefully you'll be finding. I sent an email to myself an hour ago, basically from a different email address asking if I'm available for a meeting June 8th at 3 p.m. So it should find this, draft a response, and then send the message. Uh, there we go, it just sent it. Um, telling everybody that I've accepted a meeting on June 8th at 3 p.m. Uh, so if I go back to uh, the web app, uh, you see that it says I need the AI needs to check the latest email from Yara, create a draft response and send the message to, to Slack. So it's found the right email uh, we see right here. Um, it says I need to create a draft response and send it to Slack. So Gmail, create a response. Uh, now, this is interesting because the observation for the draft is null. So I have a feeling it hasn't actually created the draft, but we will see. Um, note that I have given the option to create a draft reply. So we're going to check that out in a second and then send the message to Slack. Um, well, uh, in the final answer, actually, we will see, it's, we see that it says I have accepted the meeting on June 8th and sent a message to Slack. Now, I wonder if it's actually added it to my calendar. So let's see, um, if I go to drafts, actually, yeah, look at that. Uh, yes, I'm available for a meeting on June 8th at 3 p.m. So we have the draft ready to go and it's notified the team. Uh, so it's pretty cool. It actually does a lot of things. So there's also a command line terminal tool that it could use from the same GitHub repo. And uh, you don't have to use the web app for this, but it does all the same things. So uh, let's try doing something else now with it. Um, again, I've pre-typed a command to save time. Uh, I'm basically gonna say, read the latest Slack message in general um, and make a new calendar event based on the message. So again, I have no idea if this is gonna work. Let's see, it's making a new agent. Um, it's looking for the latest messages in general in Slack. Um, and it found the message that it itself posted uh, just before. I have accepted a meeting on June 8th at 3 p.m. And then it needs to make a calendar event. Um, so I create an event on June 8th. Um, so the event has been created. Um, now I wonder if it's actually done it. So this is the message and uh, here's my calendar. This is a fake calendar just for testing stuff. Um, so none of these events are real anyways. Um, so in this case, it actually hasn't added the calendar events. Actually just ran this again. Um, and I just said, make explicitly giving the instructions to uh, make a calendar events on June 8th uh, at 3 p.m. right here, um, just to see if it works this time. And uh, the second time it actually worked. Uh, so again, using the same tool, Google Calendar, quick add events. Um, and this time the observation is a null, like it was last time. Um, and if I check my calendar, uh, there it is. Now what's hilarious is that I just made a name, meet Mr. Jackson. I have no idea where this came from. Um, but yeah, that's LLMs for you. Uh, I've noticed the calendar integration is definitely a little janky. I've also tried finding events uh, using the Zapier natural, action, natural language actions and uh, can't always find them. Uh, but I mean, the product is in beta, so 
Can't wait to see what else it'll be able to do, but it's pretty incredible. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.